Hello guys. Greetings. I know quite a lot of us um, might be wondering, um, who's the admin for this group? Why is this group dormant in, on Telegram? I'm, I'm so sorry. I've come this morning to apologize for my short comments and I hope um, you guys understand and um, I will do better. So, um, with me here, I have a little piece of paper and um, it's just a kind of a summary to all your questions and also an eye opener and also um, it's going to serve as the fact for you regarding your registration to become a nurse in Malta. Okay. Uh, uh, please, I would like you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel if we can. If we are going to continue uh, this um, page, if we are going, if we are going to continue um, updating each other, we have to. You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, um, the application for non-EU trained nurse to become registered nurses in Malta. So, uh, okay, you. You cannot, you, you, you will not tell me that you want to become a nurse in Malta and you don't know the website for their um, nursing council. I'm going to put this um, in the description box and I'm equally going to put it up there. Okay. So, um, the, the website is actually, okay, C N M. Uh, oh sorry I'm just going to put it over there I'm so sorry <laughs> I can't I can't remember I'm going to put it in the so the application the application to become a nurse in Monza was quite easier and um, straightforward but when it comes to um, coming over to Monza to finish up the whole process it became so difficult especially for um, nurses from Nigeria, some other countries like the UK, the Philippines, the Dubai, that's United Arab Emirates, that was not an issue for them. But for Nigeria in particular, it became an issue, especially towards the ending part of it. I personally encountered that um, issue, but currently I was able to just uh, okay navigate my way around it. So, um, for one to become a registered nurse in Malta, it's, it's in two era. I personally call it the new era and the old era. Um, and one of the reasons why um, um, Council of Nurses and Degrees for Malta adopted the new era is in order to solve the immigration problem that uh, one can encounter in the old era. I personally, I'll consider myself um, lucky on one hand and also um, not privileged in the other, in the other hand. Um, going with the, the, the old era of registration to become a nurse in Malta, what you the the initial um what's it called the initial processes of getting your requirements ready and submitting and paying an application fee and waiting for a decision letter you won't find any difficulties and the financial implication was very low but the new process of um that's the new era of application or of registration for nursing in Malta um, has a lot fin financial implication. So, um, if I'm um, to advise you to commence this registration, I'm, I'm, I must let you know that there is need for you to have a backup and know that you are financially capable to go on with the process. So, um, um, the requirements for um, one to become a nurse and mortar remains the same. Nothing changes. It remains the same. Your IELTS score with an average, um, uh, your IELTS with an average score of at least six. When I talk about six, I mean at least six in all average, okay? OET or with B in speaking 
and something um less not uh, uh, not less than c in reading listening and writing for oet then you have your reference letter that shows that you practiced in as a nurse in your country for more than 12 uh, months sorry i'll be calling i'll be talking about i'll be mentioning nigeria because um i'm from nigeria and and um i i can tell more about the, the their um, registration than some any other country so um we have uh your mqx um, statement of from five and above you have to verify your certificate with nursing and military council of nigeria you have to um submit a transcript you have your best certificate ready you have your um travel document you have uh okay so um you have your professional certificate and diploma you have your um police conduct site and you have to pay an application a non-refundable application fee of one nine two pounds which is roughly one fifty currently in nigeria so um so uh, after you must have gotten all those um requirements ready you have to do that within the period of three months it means what well, it means um if you are to get your mqric statement ensure that your mqric statement does not once you've obtained it ensure that it does not exceed three months before your you submit the whole application it's also it implies that if you are going to um if you're going to be requiring or if you're going to get your verification certificate from the national military council of nigeria it's not going to exceed three months from the day you are submitting so that's what i mean by that all your requirements should be within the space of three months so after that you wait for a decision letter from council or uh, sorry from council of national military mortar when they get back to you um uh, okay normally before my 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 turn before i did i registered with them um uh, in, they will send a mail to you and a kind of an invitation letter to you to monitor but i personally i encountered an, a situation with them where um the registrar by name bonnet um elizabeth um said that it's not within her discretion to give an invitation letter to monitor any longer and that's the reason why they are is a new era which means if i'm to if 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 i'm to really come over to a uh, mortar i either find my way to mortar or i i uh, uh, i embark on the new era my process fell in between the new and the old era so they are proposing the new era when i submitted earlier than the time for the new era. i don't know how to put it but this is how it was i was just in between so i have to navigate my way to mother that was what it was about i'm not going to be giving you details of that for now i'll do that in my next video so um so let me not bore you so much with the um old era for application of, of uh, Registration as a nurse in Malta. So, um, for the new era, you are to register with, you are to apply for a non bridging program with MCAS or IDEA Malta, that's I D E A Malta, or the University of Malta. And the cost for this non bridging course, course cost um, five thousand four hundred euro which is up to 2.9 million or three in nigeria but the good thing with um this uh, uh uh institution or going through this institution is the fact that this institution will oversee your visa application they they will at least give you an admission letter do you understand 
for you to um, use to process your visa. The, they will check up on you time by time just to know how things are going. So uh, the visa application process in for in Nigeria is kind of um, rigorous and not straightforward. Nigeria doesn't have an embassy for Malta. So um, Italy processes um, visa processes for anybody that wants to come to Malta. And you can do that at TMS contact in Victoria Island, Lagos. Yes. So um, you have to choose whether it's you want a study visa, a work visa, and or whatnot. With this institution, you already know that you are going for a study visa, and they adapt and um, the the non bridging course you are going to be doing in Malta is just going to replace the adaptation course of the old era. Do you understand? And this um, uh, non bridging course takes the duration of um, uh, six months to one year. Six months to one year. That's what it lasts for. So thereafter, once you are done with the um, with getting the the certificate for your non bridging course, course, you can now um, uh, approach the council of nursing and midwife Malta over there in Malta in order to um, conclude your registration process. Mm. Yeah, that's that for that.